Preliminary investigations into the United Nigeria Airlines incident has shown the aircraft had a foreign pilot and cabin crew not familiar with the Nigerian terrain, and the weather in Abuja was not bad, as alleged by the airline. The aviation authorities blame the incident on internal administration lapses and insist henceforth wet lease aircraft must have at least one local pilot on board. The Safety Investigation Bureau has also been directed to produce a report on recent air accidents in the country within 10 days. Lara Falayan reports. Reports emerged on Sunday that passengers on board an Abuja-bound United Nigeria Airlines flight from Lagos were wrongly taken to Asaba, the Delta State capital. The airline, in a swift reaction, claimed it was a route diversion owing to bad weather in the destination city. But the aviation authorities now say these claims were false. They are here. No weather problem in Abuja yesterday. It was a question of a wet lease plane where the pilots and the crew were all foreigners, not Nigerians. And that is what a wet lease is all about. A wet lease, you will take, they will give you their plane with their crew, with their pilots. And so they were not familiar with the Nigerian terrain. From the transcript we heard, the tower kept asking the pilot, confirm again that you are going to Abuja, not Asaba. The pilot replied, no, I am going to Asaba. The minister says, henceforth, all wet list aircraft Dispatcher. must have at least one Nigerian pilot on board. He also adds that the ban on the United Nigeria wet list aircraft remains till it has a session with the aviation authorities. He also says, going forward, domestic airlines internal regulators will have their licenses revoked and backlisted if avoidable occurrences like that of the United Nigeria Airline occurs again. Henceforth, all wet leases coming into Nigeria, you must have a Nigerian pilot seated at least on the jump seats. If it's not the two pilots, the jump seats must be seated there with the foreign pilots. I've also directed NCA that within the next 72 hours, they should summon all pilots and crew who are operating work leases in Nigeria. The minister directed that investigations be carried out on recent air incidents in the aviation sector with a report submitted to the ministry within 10 days. He also assured that NSOT operators who violate the rights of air passengers going forward will not be made to compensate them accordingly. Lara Folayo, TVC News, Abuja.